What's up guys, Intellitech Mobile here, and boom, wide angle lens, because it's the only way we're going to fit this in the shot. This is something that I haven't bought. The, the, the last time I ever bought myself a new laptop was a long time ago, and that was my Lenovo ThinkPad T500. I do have an HP ZBook G4 mobile workstation. It's been my main laptop for the last few years. But I kind of hate it, so I've been dying to get a new ThinkPad. I've always been a fan of ThinkPads, and we finally potentially have a new ThinkPad. At least, I'm not new, but new to me. It said it's supposed to be in excellent condition, and ironically, it's the 2018 model, but it's it sounds like it's the older version of the laptop I had, because I had the Lenovo ThinkPad T500. In fact, I still have it. It's off screen. I'm not going to show it right now, but, it's, but later on I'll do a comparison video between the two, um, possibly. But... So, I have the ThinkPad T500, which is the ThinkPad from 2008. This is the one from 10 years afterwards, so 2018. So obviously now that's about five years old, but that means that it's cheap because ThinkPads don't hold their value, which is great for me. So, make sure there's no personal information here. We've got our charging brick, which I believe is a aftermarket brick. So we've got some paper. Packaged very well, thankfully. Make sure there's nothing else in this box. I mean, it's only supposed to have a laptop and a charger anyway, so no harm, no foul. But here it is. All right, and we can switch to the, the main lens. Well, maybe not, maybe we'll keep it wide angle. Okay, so we've got a basic power brick. We'll un unwrap this first. So this is a USB-C power brick. But it is an aftermarket Lenovo power brick. So this thing charges with USB Type-C, which is great. And just charges the standard double barrel, or just powers the standard double barrel on the other end, which is nice, just pretty basic. And of course it's an aftermarket AC adapter, but as long as it's the right wattage and voltage and, and all that, should be fine. So this one's a 20 volt, 65 watt AC adapter. I'll be sure to check this because ThinkPads are usually really picky about power supplies and they'll give you a weird error message when you start them up. So now we have the laptop, which I'm not really sure how this opens. Okay. Okay, so just like that. And it said it's in excellent condition, too, which is good, but we'll see if that's accurate. So we've got some paperwork here. Let me make sure there's nothing. Make sure there's nothing. Uh, yeah, so this comes with a good amount. So this came from Digital Bridge Milwaukee, which is nice. Um, and it's got a bunch of stuff on basically like how to set this up if you're like a novice computer user. It says open office 2010. Did this come with, two, that, with office 2010? Troubleshooting your computer, of course, all the basic stuff like restart it, you jackass, if it's being stupid. Oh, that's cool. It actually included... Wow, that's really cool. So it even, it even has the product key written down, which will be great in case I need to reinstall this. So that's really cool. So apparently this is a Microsoft authorized refurbisher. Allegedly, that's what they're saying at least. So that's cool. Digital bridge tested for full functions. So, I'm sure I don't show that. So we can see the specs of this. Intel Core i5 8250 CPU, or 8250U, at only 1.6 gigahertz, which is kind of strange, but I'm sure that's pretty typical. It says no office installed. Windows 10 Pro, Lenovo, a 120 gig SSD, 16 gigs of RAM, 
and of course Windows 10 Pro. It's a 94% battery apparently. PCs for People does not distribute batteries under 80% of the original design. Oh, so it's at 94% battery health? Okay. 94% battery health. That's damn good. Yeah, if, if that's... if that Oh, they even gave me a little sticker. That's cute. Okay, well, we'll see if these guys are, are good or not. Now, I... Okay, so let's take a... Ooh. Ooh, ooh. So we've got our... Oh, this is probably not going to show up very well. So we've got our Type-C port right there. There's a bit of wear around the edge of it, but nothing too major. We've got a expansion slot right there, which you probably couldn't see. Nothing on the front. No hood latch like my old school ThinkPad. We've got a micro headphone microphone combo jack, USB Type-A, HDMI, another USB Type-A, Ethernet and a full-size SD card slot, so excellent I.O. And I believe the Type-C... Oh, and it, I believe the Type-C is also Thunderbolt. Or is Thunderbolt over here. And then we also have a connector for the docking station. Because it's a ThinkPad, so of course there's a docking station as well. Looking at the bottom of it, we've got our second battery. This model has two batteries, so there's one battery that's external and one battery that's internal. Microsoft, wow, okay, so it's a Microsoft authorized refurbisher, which I was not aware of. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, oh, how I missed, oh, how I missed this. If you aren't familiar with ThinkPads, then you, you don't really get it, to tell you the truth. There's something about ThinkPads with the track point that you just can't, you just can't emulate anywhere else. Oh, how I missed this. Okay, let's try the keyboard. Oh, I miss Leno I miss Lenovo's keyboard. Okay, let's let's power this up. Okay, let's see if this has some juice. Oh, do I have to hold it? Not getting anything. I don't see any status LEDs either on this model, but it is a ThinkPad T four eighty. I'm not getting anything out of this. I, I thought the pamphlet said the battery was at 94%. Do I have to hold this? Do I have to hold this? No? Okay, let me try plugging in the AC adapter that was included and seeing if that seeing if that makes a difference. So alright. So we're gonna plug. Plug that in. Okay, seems to plug in okay. Obviously it's a USB Type-C, so it'll be a little bit worn. But I just realized I don't have a a double barrel hooked up, do I? So I might have to actually crouch underneath the desk to plug this in. Okay, give me one sec. I want to do this all live on camera. Anytime I open something like this, I want to do it live on camera. So if there is a fault, I can show that I experienced it with one take, so there's not any doubt about it. Uh, I don't have any extra outlets, which isn't great. I have no idea, oh, I'll unplug this, which is my other laptop power supply. This is the one for my, my HP, which of course, I mean, I don't hate my HP, my ZBook, but it's a six, it's a, 15 inch laptop. This is a 14 inch, which I greatly prefer. I think it's a nice sweet spot between 15 and 13. It's not too big, not too small. I find 13 inch laptops are usually a little too small for my tastes. And then I find that 15 inch laptops are usually too big, especially if they have thick bezels. But 14 is perfect. Another reason why I love ThinkPads. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's try it. Of course, this model has a backlit keyboard. Okay, Lenovo. Starting up. And I know this model has a backlit keyboard, which I really want to see in action. I know it's one of these buttons. Oh, crap, is it this one? I know it's, it's one of these. Okay, just a moment. 
And he came with Windows 10 Pro too, which is great because as, as you can tell, I'm running Windows 10 Pro on my main PC. As much as Windows 11 has improved in recent months, I still greatly prefer Windows 10. As much as I love the UI of Windows 11, just the overall like settings layout and with how many features that are still missing, I greatly prefer Windows 10 because since Windows 10 was the previous generation of Windows that's had the multiple updates over the years, it just feels like a more complete operating system. I know it loses support at the end of next year at this point, you know, you know, two years from now, but still, there will likely be extended security updates, my guess is through 2028 or 2029, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so we'll start with region. Now, this is all basic Windows stuff, so I don't really know if I need to, to show all this. But I am going to go ahead and go through this. It is a 1080p screen, which is great. No touchscreen, unfortunately. But my fiancé just bought another Lenovo laptop that does have a touchscreen. It's a bit smaller, so I'd rather have the track point, which you can't even see. But I would rather have the track point than a touchscreen. Ideally, I'd have both, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm actually going to say I don't have internet, just so it doesn't because I want to set it up normally and then add my Microsoft account later. So, Windows 10 license agreement, of course this is all typical. I'm. It looks like they set it up with all the drivers and everything, so all that is nice. Oh, this keyboard. Oh, I miss this keyboard so much. Oh, that was, that was amazing. I was just, there's so many keyboards that I'm just terrible at typing at, but this is one of the few where... Oh, why am I using the touchpad? Oh my god, I can use the track point. Oh my god, this is... I miss this so much. Look at me instinctively trying to use the touchpad. This is... I miss this so much. See, it's so natural. At least for me. Alright, so now it's going to set up. Now, some people did point out... I, I shared this in the ThinkPad subreddit. And some people mentioned that, oh, if you look hard, you can find ones with bigger SSDs in them. Yes... You can find ones, but I was mainly concerned about the CPU and the RAM. I wanted at least an i5 of this generation, and I wanted at least 16 gigs of RAM, because that's more analogous to what my HP is, and I don't want to downgrade in terms of specs. Even though my, my HP does have, have a Quadro card in it, this only has integrated graphics. So for gaming, obviously this will be worse, but I don't game on my laptop anyways. I, I've literally never done it, so I don't care about that. I just wanted a ThinkPad back. I wanted... A laptop that was more modern than my T500, but easier to use and less of a hassle and headache than my HP. And again, I'll, I'll eventually do a comparison showing all three laptops at some point. But right now, this screen looks beautiful. I wanted to make sure also that I have the 1080p IPS display, not the garbage 1366 by 768 TN panel. Those Those are garbage. This is so much nicer. Unfortunately, it appears I do not have the model with the fingerprint sensor, which I was really, really kind of sketched out by because I was under the impression that these all had them, but apparently that was incorrect on my part. I did ask the seller about it, but they didn't respond and then ship a laptop before they... Well, they responded and just said, I don't know. And then they ship a laptop. So it's like, okay, you only had three of them. You could have checked, but whatever. I mean, I'm not going to... I'm very happy with this machine, and I ended up getting this machine for only a... I ended up sending an offer for 175 bucks, and they had it listed for 215 They had three of them in stock. And I also appreciate them not sending me, like, a nasty one and accepting my offer, because obviously the offer was for that unit, and I'm very happy with this. The condition of this. There's a couple wear around some of the ports, but that's... I can totally live with that. If anything, you know, it's a nice balance. It's not so perfect that I don't want to use it, but it's also not so scratched up that I'd be ashamed to use it. So, you know, not ashamed, that's not the right word, but just where it would, it would bother my OCD. But yes, this is, I can already tell this is the 1080p display, but I just want to verify. I mean, I can tell it is, but just, just to see the number. Of course, the two-finger scroll appears to be disabled on this, which I'm kind of used to. Oh, it doesn't have the track point drivers. Because the um, you're, you're supposed to be able to hold, you're supposed to be able to hold the middle button and move the track point to scroll, but that is not functioning. So I likely have to go online and get some drivers. So I have to do this the old-fashioned way. But yes, 1920 by 1080, beautiful, gorgeous IPS display. Super, super happy with this. 
And of course, let me make sure. Now they gave me a product key, but just make sure it's activated because I would think they would have checked that. Yep, activated with the digital license, that's good. Um, yeah, and Windows 10 Pro. And of course, there's no there's no reason for it to not be on Windows 10 because if you want 11, you can upgrade it yourself. Whereas if you want 10, it's a lot harder to downgrade if it already had 11. Because I could have got one that was a little bit more expensive. Uh, I could have got one that was like 219 and that one would have had a 256 gig SSD and it would have also been from an eBay refurbished, but that one, they did not have any specs about the screen, so I had no idea what screen I was getting, and I had no idea what the condition was, because it had stock photos. This actually had photos, well, at least example photos, of the various laptops they had in stock, which I greatly appreciate. So, so far, I mean, I just unboxed this, I'm going to use this, I'm going to set it up and use it, actually use a laptop for the first time in a while, because I haven't really been using a laptop, because I just haven't been had had haven't had one I like but of course there's also the T480s but this is the thicker of the two and I'm happy with that because it's still perfectly thin enough and you know with the upgradability you get with this model I'm very happy with this so so far my my experience with Digital Bridge Milwaukee and of course it came from Milwaukee Wisconsin as well so even though it wasn't so even though the shipping window didn't have it arriving at the earliest until tomorrow I got it today, so I got it a day early, even from the earliest shipping estimate, so I literally got here in less than 24 hours, which I was very impressed with, or approximately 24 hours um, since I ordered it. Very impressed with the shipping time, very impressed with the quality so far, so Digital Bridge, you guys are getting a good, getting a good review from me so far, this cute little sticker also helps, I really appreciate that, and they even put a cute little sticker on on this, which I actually really like. I don't know why, I just think that's cute. So, yeah, I mean, very happy with this so far. Obviously, there's no touch, there's no track point driver for the middle click for some reason. But once I throw this online and get some updates, that'll take care of that, no problem. So, no complaints with that so far. This also has the privacy cover for the webcam, which does make me wonder if I can get Windows Hello on this. I'm honestly not sure, but I'll probably have to mess with that and see. I hope this has Windows Hello, because that'd be a great feature. If not, I guess I'll have to use my pin like old times, like I've been using on my on my other machines. But anyways, this is Intellitech Mobile signing out with my first laptop purchase in a really long time. Probably well over a decade at this point, because I bought the ThinkPad T500. And, so, can someone explain to me why it is that cats will literally make no sounds all day? And the second that I start filming, both of my cats start screaming their heads off. I do not have time to refilm this video. So if you hear cats scream, like, not screaming, I, I use that, but meowing in the background. If you hear my cats meowing in the background, that's why. But, you know, all ThinkPad over owners generally have cats, so let's be expected. I'm so happy with this so far. Yep, got to go online, get some drivers, get my, my Microsoft account set up and all that stuff. But so far, very happy, very impressed. I guess we should check and see what build of Windows 10 this is. I imagine it's going to be 22H2. But we're going to... Oh yeah, again, there's no driver, so I have to manually scroll. System. This is quite clunky with the driver. Okay, about... Yep, Core i5-8250U. At 1.8 gigahertz, or well, 1.6, but turbo's up to 1.8. 16 gigs of mem of RAM with a, a tenth of a gig used for video mem memory. Of course, 64-bit. Of course, Windows 10 Pro. And the newest build, 22H2. And it was installed on December 14th. So, very recent install of Windows 10. Appears to be a fresh install. Oh, that's cute. They've got a little, little thing for their support. I hope I didn't just... Didn't mean to dox them. But yeah, so PCs for people, which is strange because this says Digital Bridge Milwaukee, so I'm not really sure which company this is. But wh whoever's responsible for this, good job. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw this online, get some drivers, and we should be good to go. At least the couple that are missing. But yeah, track points, very smooth. Keyboard's very smooth. Let me open up. I mean, there's no Word, obviously, but I can do WordPad at least. So... See the quick brown fox jumped over the 
lazy dog. Yeah, I mean, that was perfect. And I, I'm such a bad typer on so many keyboards, but just this keyboard, like ThinkPads are the types of machines that make me want to actually use laptops, because otherwise I'm very much desktop oriented. And a lot of people who like ThinkPads generally have the same sentiment, so I'm not alone in that. And I actually am of the possibly controversial opinion that I actually like this better than my old style ThinkPad. Even though my old ThinkPad T500 had the much thicker, heavier keys, I actually like these because I actually do prefer chiclet style keys. So this being chiclet style but still having the same classic ThinkPad layout, I mean there's a couple funky keys up here that are a bit different, but this is perfect. This keyboard is perfect for me. And the track point doesn't get in the way for those wondering. So yeah, very happy with this so far. Got a new laptop so that is fun. Anyways. I gotta go to bed. It is 1.53 in the morning, so uh, I will see you guys in the next video. This was IntelliTech Mobile signing out. More videos to come in 2024, so subscribe if you want to see those, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a good one. Peace, and let me know what videos you want, me to, want to see me do next.